So good afternoon, everyone. I am Shefali Anand, Research Scholar of Forensic Science Department, Sharda University. So uh, the topic of my presentation today is microbial forensics and new breakthrough in forensic investigations. So uh, by this presentation, I just want to introduce microbial forensics to the forensic science world of India. So as we all know, that microorganisms are extremely ubiquitous. That is, they are present almost everywhere and are highly diverse in nature. If we talk about our bodies, then there is a complex ecosystem of bacterial and fungal microorganisms which are concerned and are performing their specific roles. On the other side, if we talk about forensic science, it is basically the application of science in the legal investigations. Now, if these microorganisms are treated as evidence and are helpful in solving the legal crimes, then that field is known as microbial forensics. Scientifically, microbial forensics is defined as the discipline that is dedicated towards analyzing evidence from the act of bioterrorism or biocrime, that is the terrorism involving in uh, involving the intentional release or dissemination of biological agents these agents can be bacteria viruses insects fungi or toxins and maybe in the and uh, they can be released in the natural occurring form or can be human modified form uh, uh, Basically, the branch of microbial forensics is in its early stages of development and till now it is facing substantial scientific challenges. So now if we talk about the use of microbes in forensic investigations, there has been few studies in which the researchers uh, studied the microbial species to determine some major drawbacks, some major points. Like, uh, like in the first study, Gulnaz and its research and his research team in 2014 described the variety of microbial species which are found in the internal organs of humans. In the other study, which was uh, carried on the decomposition of pig carcasses at varying temperature and conditions, and this study was done in 2019 by Centos and his team. Importantly, there was a study which was performed on the examination of fungal succession that is seen in the mammalian cadaver decomposition. And this study was done by Zing He et al. in 2019. All these studies were based on the fact that microbial species attack the outer organs as well as the internal organs of the human body after death. So the species of microbiome which are present in the internal organs upon death are known as the thanatomicrobiome and the microbial species which are present on the outer surface uh, and open cavities of the cadaver after death are known as epinecrotic communities. With the help of microbial, foreign, uh, microbial investigations, uh, uh, with the help of microbial forensics, the investigators will be able to narrow down the search of the suspect as everyone have a unique biota of microorganisms on their hair and skin. The place of death can also be determined if the crime scene is outdoor, then there will be different microbial biota than the indoor ones. Most importantly, time of death, which can be determined with the help of microbial succession. And lastly, the cause of uh, the uh, estimation of cause of death can be uh, can also be done, especially in the cases of drowning. So, determining cause of death and time of death and place of death can be done very very uh, 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 can be done in a very uh, good manner with the help of microbes which are present in and around us, and also after death, the microbes which attacks the human body and they show the succession which depends on the nutrient content of the body. So conclusion, microbial forensics can prove to be a useful tool in the field of forensic investigations. There are many more aspects in, it, in this field which can be discovered in future 
for example with the help of different experiments a data base can be prepared considering all different factors which will ultimately help in distinguishing the microbial succession as microorganisms are present even in extreme conditions they can provide the utmost information regarding the death of a person thank you so much